gas cookers are linked to childhood asthma, a new report has found. The cookers were found to be pumping out toxic particles that may lead to the condition, with average levels of nitrogen dioxide NO2, identified to be almost two times higher in homes using gas to cook compared to those without gas cookers. Researchers from the Netherlands Organization for Applied Scientific Research TNO, found that one in four home with gas cookers breached the hourly pollution levels set by the World Health Organization. No homes included in the study using electric cookers were found to exceed the limits. Gas burned when using the cookers released pollutants such as NO2, which can damage the lungs as well as increase inflammation in the airways. Scientists have long known of an association between gas cookers and childhood asthma. However, there was previously no proven casual link between the two. The report was carried out by was completed by Dutch scientists who measured the air quality in 247 homes. Commissioned by the Energy Efficiency Group CLASP. The research measured levels of NO2 within homes across seven European countries. The homes used in the study were chosen as those living there did not smoke, with the properties also far away from roads and factories to reduce the effect of other sources of pollution. The scientists found that pollution spikes caused by gas cookers could last for several hours, becoming more intense the longer people cooked. During the study, the daily NO2 limit set by the World Health Organization was breached 3. 25 days on average over the 13-day testing period. This is a key study that will facilitate raising awareness and triggering action that will protect the health of those most vulnerable, like our children, according to Juana Maria Delgado Saborit, the head of Environmental Health Research Lab at Jaume I University in Spain who served as an external reviewer for the study. The expert explained that the biggest limitation of the study was that the researchers used sensors instead of scientific instruments to measure the air quality, with these measurement potentially not as accurate compared to those taken by instruments in a controlled lab. However, the sensors were calibrated before and after installation in each home to help counter this issue with the reviewer adding she is confident the researchers used sound methods. The research found that cooking with gar frequently led to levels of indoor air pollution that would be illegal outdoors. The limits set by WHO for clean air apply both indoors and outdoors, however, the guidelines in the EU and UK only govern pollution levels. The report is urging governments to strengthen rules on cooking appliances as well as urging consumers to upgrade to electric cookers as well as properly ventilating kitchens with cooker hoods and open windows. Further, the report advises companies to stop making and installing has hobs and ovens. Join the daily record WhatsApp community. Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You will receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select Join Community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click Join Community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose Exit Group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice. Pete Jacobs, a scientist from the Netherlands Organization for Applied Scientific Research, said, changing to electric cooking, preferably combined with use of well-designed ventilation hoods to reduce exposure to high levels of particulate matter from cooking, 
can bring these values down to below recommended levels. Newsletter here.